Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. This is our second video in Smart Programming Tricks in which we are going to learn about Font Awesome. Font Awesomes are generally a library file guys that by the help of which we make our buttons looking so awesome. Have a look the output that we are gonna make in this video session. As you know guys, this is the bootstrap buttons of primary success information and danger. These are the simple buttons as you can see without using font awesome. But after this video session, we are going to learn and implement the use of font awesome icons in these buttons. So after this video session, we will see that these buttons actually look like something like this. Here is the primary success info and the danger. But one more thing that you have to understand after seeing these buttons that an icon is appearing in front of this name. Primary icon is there, success icon is there. All the buttons are looking so awesome and so sweet. So we are going to make these buttons looks like these buttons. Okay guys. So for now, let's close these two tabs. So this is the simple buttons that we have made so far for this video session. We are going to start by using font awesome icons. So this is the HTML page guys that we have written so far. Simply we have used bootstrap 3.3.7 and here is some buttons as you can see primary, success, info and danger. By the help of these classes btn, btn primary, success, info, danger. These are the classes, bootstrap classes that we have given to these buttons. So they are looking in different different colors because we have passed the classes of bootstrap. Okay guys, so we are going to attach the font of some icons property to these buttons such that the appearance of these buttons looks much better. So for doing font of some icons property to these buttons just go to google type font awesome the first official website you should see like fontawesome.io you just click on that by clicking on this link you get something like this this is the official website of fontawesome.io where you get a library package to include to your html file to use font awesome icons before your button okay so just click on download after clicking on download, you should show a pop-up where you have to click on no thanks, just download Font Awesome 4. So just click on that. For now, I have downloaded this package before making this video. As you can see, it gives you a GIF file of Font Awesome-4.7.0.gif. This folder, actually this website has provides when you click on the download link as you can see. So just make unzip of that, extract. So this is the folder guys that I got after unzipping this. Just make copy of those and paste it into your external folder. I have pasted it. Just remove for now. We have to link our awesome.html file with fontawesome.css file. This CSS file by the help of these folders like fonts, las, and as CSS files. The main bootstrap file is fontawesome.css, but internally this file is hooked up with these folders. So if you, you want to use font awesome icons with your buttons, so just link this CSS file with your file. Just click rename, copy the name of file. Go to your HTML file and just add the code of linking the CSS file. Under CSS folder. So this is the path of font or some icons that they have downloaded and this is in CSS folder. So before using font or some icons, we have to link this file with our HTML page. So we have successfully linked this file to our HTML file. Now we are going to use font awesome properties with these buttons. So before using these buttons, 
just go to font awesome icon websites and click on icons section i have opened as you can see font awesome.io slash icons just scroll down to its bottom as you can see there are several icons actually font awesome.io provides to include to your buttons or anywhere if you want suppose if we want to include vcard icon to our button means we are going to include vcard property vcard icon to primary section just click on this link after clicking on this link you got a page something like this just scroll down to bottom copy this text just make copy of this go to html file and before primary text paste it here let's make a space here ctrl s to save and just make ctrl f5 to refresh as we can see our icon is appeared now in front of primary text so we need to include some other icons for these buttons just go to its icons website scroll down to see something much better just click in cap if we want to include cap font or some icons with the our button just scroll down copy this text go to html page and if you want to include with the success button just paste it here make a space in between them control s to save and just refresh your html page as we can see the cab icon is now embedded with the success button now we are going to take to another buttons for that just we want to include something like cloud upload just click on that and one more button we want suppose something like this click on facts scroll down copy this text and paste it here let's make a space in between them and finally the facts button we want scroll down just make copy of that and paste it here control is to save just go to HTML page control f5 to refresh as we can see all four buttons are looks much better from our previous button before using font or some icons so these are the icons that we have attached with our buttons okay guys so you need to keep following points into your mind while using font or some icons with your buttons first you have to download the font awesome library package zip folder before using it which we have downloaded where we have extracted these folders from that second you should link font awesome.css file or font awesome.min.css file from these of two files you have to include into your html or which file if you want to include that and the last point that while using if you want to use this icon then you have to use this text as just make copy of that and pasting before your text or after your text to appear the font or some icons with your buttons as we have seen that these are the buttons that we have embedded with the button text so now after using font or some icon library we can see that our buttons are look much better from the previous ones and before closing this video session i would like to tell something about these icons if you want to increase the size of these icons by default font awesome family font awesome library package provides this size of icons so if you want to increase the size of these icons just to go to html file and add a class something like this if you want to increase 1x 2x 3x 4x and finally 5x these are the classes guys that actually font awesome provides to increase the size of font icons suppose if we want we want to increase the size of these buttons of primary section just click on f 
a 2x for this button let's we want f a 3x for this button let's we want f a 1x and for this button we want f a 5x just control to f7 to save just go to a page and refresh this page as you can see guys the size of buttons actually appeared longer as expected here is fa2x as its size fa3x has your size f1x and f5x means the size of f5x class has much more than from the previous classes so how we how we can increase the size of font icons by the use of classes fa2x fa3x like that so this is the use of guys font awesome family or icons to our buttons which makes our buttons from simpler to the awesome look so before closing this video session let's remind what we have seen in this video session we have seen that how can we use font or some icons font or some icons with our buttons which actually makes our button more smarter more beautiful to the simple buttons by using the font or some icons gallery we pick any one icons from this gallery by copying the text and pasting it to our HTML page we can appear the font or some icons and to increase the size of font or some icons we have to use either class FA 1x to FA 5x these classes will increase the size of font or some icons so guys I think if you have any query about this video session so just make comment to the comment box i will give my reply as soon as possible and also guys this is the second part of a smart programming tricks if you want to learn about the chat box how we can actually include talk.2 chat box to our custom html page then please watch first part of this video session series because we had seen that how can we embed few simple things a chat box to our custom HTML page by the help of TAWK talk dot to functionality to from to our custom HTML page. And also, guys, if you are a lover of WordPress technology, then please visit our online web tutor channel where you get several resources about customizations of WordPress technology. So, guys, for this video session, thank you for watching. Have a great day.